This is the tactical flow meter, Coriolis meter. There are four buttons on this. They're capacitively active through the glass. As I push this button, the lower right hand button is the left and down. The upper right button is the up button. These two buttons will cycle through um, the variables that are being measured by the Coriolis meter. When I hit the escape, nothing happens on this screen. When I hit the enter, it prompts me for the password. This password to view things is 20. So I'm going to use this left arrow to move the cursor to the 2, and I'm going to increment the 2, then I'm going to click enter. I have the ability to check the records. I'm going to click uh, this button to go back to records. I'm going to click enter, and here are the the information, the software version, the model number, the instrument number, and any error codes it may. So I'm going to click out of that. I'm going to go down to the settings, enter, and I can look and see whether I want to set the totalizers, cumulances, totalizers, zero point calibration. No, I could do that. I could select the units. Let's select the units and change the units to something different. So I, I hit the enter button and then I cycle through, and I believe I can, you can't go up and down all the time. So let's set it to gallons per minute. Click enter. Now the unit selection is gallons per minute. I'm gonna go down to the next one, cumulative minutes. The ones on the left is mass, and the ones on the right in mass, enter. So I can, there's not very many mass units, so I'm gonna leave it in kilograms. Enter. It's going to go to the cumulative units in volume. This is cubic meters, cubic feet, gallons, liters. Um, so I'm going to leave it to cubic meters. Click Enter. And I'm going to go back up here. Enter into unit selection. I'm going to select, um, select uh, cubic meters per hour. So that is a nice unit. I think most folks like that. I mean, in the USA, we like gallons per minute, cubic meters per hour. Enter. Now I'm going to go and look at the next one, density unit, grams per liter. We can select if I want to change the units, enter, and cycle through and see what's available. Here are the things. I'm going to leave it again. Um, grams per liter. Enter. And then here is the input density, 1.2 grams per liter. That is air. So I can look at all these other, the range, the volume range. This is when the 4 to 20 works. And uh, if you have the 4 to 20 and the frequency output, the lower density, upper density, current output, frequency output, enter. We can change that to whatever you want to change it. Volume, mass, volume. The same thing is true for the current output. Current output being mass flow. Um, and then input output is from frequency enter we could choose it it is either pulse or frequency frequency is most common and the frequency output in this one is 10 kilohertz and you can look at the video here is the the display setting which is the one you see so we can make mass low um, you have to this button here so if the if one doesn't work it's the other one that's kind of crazy so we're going to call it mass flow enter the next one is the modbus address the modbus rtu address set it one here i could go enter and change it to whatever i want so i'm going to go back to one because that's what i'll display and show you and baud rate 9600 you may want quicker than that 192 you can get Let's do enter and look at the different ones we can get. 48, 24, 115.2. We'll do, I'm going to leave it at 9600 because that's what I have in the manual for folks. Um, parity check none. Small signal cut off. This is where you set the um, if less than blah, blah, blah. So let's go set that one to uh, 2%. Enter. The number of decimal places, obvious. And then we're back. Flow direction, you can enter. You can have forward, reverse, or bi-directional. Mostly people use forward flow. And there we go. That is it. So I'm going to hit escape. And I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit the password 20. 
enter and the output test I'm going to click enter and what this one does as I hit the the numbers enter this drives the 4 to 20 and the frequency output so this will be at 2500 Hertz 5000 Hertz 7500 Hertz and 10 kilohertz you'll see that um, in a right in this next video where I'll show you the frequency counter escape to get out this is a video showing the output test it's worth 25 percent here's 50 so that's 5 kilohertz 7500 kilohertz at 75 percent 100 percent we go to zero because the sensitivity on this uh, this uh, HP is very high so we'll go to 25 so it goes to zero 25 50 75 100 within a TCXO of this um, frequency counter and clear codes these are for any error codes that may show up so we're going to hit escape and that is it there's all that needs to be done on the meter what I'm going to show now is how to talk to this meter using Modbus RTU and those addresses I showed you. This is the Modbus Simple. I keep updating the versions. This works for all the meters that Tactical Flow Meter sells. And as we select different meters, we, we show the picture. If I go to the mag meter, it shows what a mag meter looks like, what a vortex meter looks like, this meter, and the thermal. So we're working on the vortex meter. The vortex meter uses byte order A, B, C, D. Baud rate's 9600, F code 3X, and address 1. And we're going to look at, uh, we know the password's 020. If we look at some of the registers, let's read the temperature, which is 1011. Uh, in Modbus RTU, that 401011 is 1011. We'll, we'll get rid of the 4 there. So now when I type 1011, I'm going to click the latch on and click this, and we'll see the temperature. And when I look at the temperature on the meter, escape, escape, temperature is 2698, 2698. And these digits flickering here are the. Uh, LSB of the uh, float of the byte order A, B, C, D. So the, these are the little last three digits here flipping around. This is uh, address 1, uh, FC code 3, and we, the rest of it, you know, engineers know all that good stuff. So there we go for reading that particular one. Now let's look at reading something like the totalizer, medium density. Or we look at medium density, density 410009. So I've got this thing going up 3, 4. I've got to show all four bytes. Now I've got it. So uh, you have the address, the address uh, for temperature 1011. Four bytes make up a float. And in the ABCD order, where we're having a no parity, the, the slave ID was 1, we showed that, the 9600, 8, and 1, and F code 3. So this is reading that, and again, let's go spy on um, medium density. Let's see what that looks like, medium density 1009. So I can just bounces down 1.2, remember we put that in? And so these are the, the variables. We can look at the total, 103. And there isn't much uh, use in 66.69. This, this is the actual number in the display. Uh, remember, we set two digits. We can set the number of digits we want. So you can get this. Um, Modbus Simple on the website, and this will be for your engineers to deal with Modbus RTU. This is a demonstration only, so it's for your enjoyment, and thank you very much.